You have to be wealthy to own a villa here in Son Vida on Palma de Mallorca. Wolf Baunatat undoubtedly is. The former chairman of the board at energy giant E.ON earned 5 million euros in his last year. He held the position from 2003 until well into the financial crisis. No one can predict when it will bottom out. He left the post in 2010, voluntarily, he says. Many top managers have had other experiences. Nothing is worse than being booted out with a lot of publicity. That makes it much harder to pick up somewhere else. Executive anxiety about a potential fall from grace has opened up a market niche. So Wolf Banotat founded a company that advises today's bosses, CEOs, managing directors, medium-sized entrepreneurs. His team consists of former top managers who pass on their experience, for example on negotiating with unions. You are closely observed at the top. You're quite alone there. There are very few people you can talk to in your company. That's why it's helpful to have a sparring partner, a sounding board in the form of a mentor you can exchange views with. And the pressure has been mounting. Hartmut Medon kicked out of Deutsche Bahn. Thomas Middelhoff lost the top job at Arkandor. Eckhard Schulz had to leave ThyssenKrupp. And Josef Ackermann, he was once the controversial head of Deutsche Bank. He left before the going got too tough. Now supervisory boards and shareholders have become less tolerant. As in the case of Peter Löscher, the Siemens CEO was forced to give up his job. There is a certain amount of pressure that can make you want to yield to the pressure by making a prediction for the year's performance that you may have to correct afterwards. And when that kind of thing happens a few times, the public gets the impression that here is a CEO, a leader of this company, who is regularly missing his targets. Wolf Bernotat managed to vacate his seat and still lead a pleasant life. But some bosses take their dismissal very personally. They may find themselves being fired in installments by having their contract extended for only a year or by being forced to share the chair. And sometimes the axe falls without warning. Now there are cases of people losing their jobs and having to immediately leave the company. Things have changed. The next departures are already in the works. Telecom CEO René Obermann will be leaving at the end of 2013. Martin Blessing, chairman of the board at Commerzbank, has a contract until 2016, but some doubt he'll stay at the helm of the troubled bank. And Dieter Zetsche may also be in the crosshairs, even though Daimler is doing relatively well. Why is that? You are measured against other people's successes and against other companies in the same sector. Daimler has been losing ground, and the chief executive gets the blame. All the good and less good developments in a company are associated with the CEO. Wolf Bernotat has plenty of tips on bailing out. And for his clients, the advice is worth the fee of up to 40,000 euros every six months. For that, they expect rescue ropes. You know what you're getting into when you take a job like that. It's like a coach in the Bundesliga. You know it's not for life, but it pays well. Nevertheless, for some managers, having to relinquish the helm is a hard experience to deal with.